hello friends welcome back it's Nadi here today we are going to make this absolutely delicious fish cakes and these are made out of cassava or yuca instead of potatoes they are so tasty and delicious so guys let's get started so i have here some cassava which i have peeled washed and i took the middle stem off you know that middle stem in between there so i took those off and i'm gonna go ahead and boil this so friends i have here a pot with boiling water i'm adding one teaspoon of salt and i'm adding my cassava to boil so we're gonna let this boil until it's nice and soft and tender So this looks good now, so we're going to go ahead and take this down. Using a potato masher, I'm just going to mash these and I'm going to set it aside. The very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seasoning the fish. I have here two um, tilapia fillet, which I'm going to add some olive oil and rub that in. Next, I'm going to add my seasoning. I'm using Old Bay seasoning. It's a nice seasoning. I really love this one. So I'm adding some Old Bay seasoning, some black pepper, onion powder and garlic powder, and just like about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix everything together. Next, I have my pan lined with aluminum foil, which I'm gonna spray with some palm. And I'm going to place the fish and I'm going to bake these on 375 degree for like about 20 minutes. So this is all done. So I'm going to go ahead and break these up into small pieces. So guys, this is what our fish look like. So I'm going to go ahead and add the cassava in. So I have like about two cups of the fish. So I want to add equal parts of the cassava. So I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of the cassava and now I'm gonna go ahead and add all my seasoning so we have here some cilantro I have a quarter of a sweet white onion which I have chopped very finely I have some crushed garlic I have a quarter of a red bell pepper and I also have two of the very very pepper chopped very finely and also some scallions so I'm gonna go ahead and add everything to the bowl gonna go ahead and add one egg to the mixture and this is gonna hold it together and we're gonna mix everything I'm also going to add a quarter cup of breadcrumb using the Progresso plain breadcrumb teaspoon more of salt So guys, the next step, we are gonna assemble our fish cakes. So I have here some flour. I have like about, I would say like about a quarter of a cup of flour and I'm gonna add just a tablespoon of breadcrumbs. I'm gonna start assembling our um, fish cake. So you can make any shape you want. I like doing it this way. So it looks just like, you know, back home. So like this though. And then I'm going to put it in the egg wash. And put it in the egg mixture and then unroll it in the flour mixture. And then we're going to put it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more. So like this, so it's okay. And then we put it in the egg mixture and then roll it in the flour mixture. You know, just make sure everything is coated and then we'll put it on a tray. I have my tray, I've lined it with wax paper. So friends, look how beautiful they look. So I'm going to give it a couple minutes and then I'll start frying them. So I have my pan with oil. I'm using vegetable oil for this and I'm going to gently place these in. My stove is on medium 
and you want to be very careful because you don't want this to splatter so we're going to fry this for like about a minute on each side or a minute and a half um you know you're going to see when it's a little brown on one side like this is okay now so i'm going to go ahead and flip these And you know, you can also make this with the potato. I do it both ways, but um, today I'm doing it with the cassava. I just like the cassava. It's like more filling. So friends, these are looking so gorgeous right now. It's so nice and golden brown. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. Friends, this is the finished product and it looks so amazing. Um, let's try it. So this is what it looks like on the outside. It's nice and crunchy on the outside. And the inside is so nice. So moist and so nice. And I have here some mango sour. I will link a recipe um, for the mango sour and it's a really short video. So I'll put that in the description box, okay? Look how amazing this is. Let's taste it. Guys, it's so good. So my dear friends, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.